Goddess. I'm Isaac, the host that will lose their train of thought about every five seconds. If you also want to start a podcast like Milk and Lettuce, maybe make one even more refined than I do, I highly recommend going to anchor.fm. It's free. Um, You do not need to pay them anything. You can um, have them publish it. Uh, They do have it on uh, Apple, Google, Spotify, and others. You can just hit auto-distribute and let them take care of the rest. That's what I did. That way I don't have to worry about any of all that. Yeah. Words words can be hard. Um, but yeah, it's, it's totally free. You can make money. There's no minimum listenership required. There's many different tools all right there. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started and please send me your podcasts i would love to listen to them thank you so much thank you for to you the listener and to anchor fm for being the new home to milk and lettuce I just watched this very interesting video called 10 Signs You Do Not Have ADHD from the channel Rick Wants to Know. Um, it, the, the person from the channel is Rick Green, who, as I've mentioned before, I'm writing a book and totally ADHD. Yeah, totally ADD.com is one of my best sources, honestly. Um, he is like the founder or co founder or something like that of totally ADD.com, which is super rad. But all of those 10 signs, there are 10 signs you do not have ADHD. I am the exact opposite of all of them. Hooray. Shut up, printer. No one's talking to you, no one asked you for your input shush anyway um yeah this video is amazing first of all secondly he makes a very good point and i actually do talk about this i said a little spoiler about my book here g is genetics in my book because yes chances are if you have add well adhd uh your child will too Uh, My son has ADHD. His father is in denial about it for some reason. And it's like... His his psychologist... Psychologist? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm terrible with the difference. Um, his, His psych doctor, I guess. I'll just say that. Um... Even she has said it. Like, it's very obvious. And having ADHD myself, I find it incredibly obvious. Um, my dad was on Ritalin. Um, you know, that's how severe his ADHD was. I'm not gonna say mine's not severe, um... It is something I struggle with on the absolute daily, but I don't know. I just, I mean, I'm on a, this is a C, clonidine. I almost said clindamycin. Clindamycin is is an antibiotic if I remember correctly so it's like that's not it that's definitely not it yeah clonidine cap van um, that's what I'm on uh, they gave it to me for panic attacks but I noticed immediately upon like 
Well, the second time taking it. The first time I took it, I went straight to bed. The second time I took it, I was awake. And that's when I did the whole computer thing. I made a whole episode while it was on it. And that turned out better than expected. A lot better. And so I swear by this stuff, man. For real. <laughs> if you have anxiety disorders and panic disorders, but you also have ADHD, maybe talk to your doctor about it. That's up to you. That's up to your doctor, obviously. I mean, your doctor may or may not give you a certain medication. I'm also just speaking from my own personal experience, which may not be your experience. Always keep that in mind. For example, um, I hated Seroquel. Uh, they gave me Seroquel for sleep. I fucking hated it. I remember I was sitting in, like, at the bus depot back in Duluth, uh, just waiting for a certain bus, but apparently I was staring out the window too intently, and two cops approached me. And... I don't exactly remember the entire situation, but I do know, like, one of them was like, what's wrong? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, nothing's wrong. It's like, well, you're staring out the window pretty intently. I'm like, yeah, because I'm waiting for the bus. or I was waiting for somebody coming on the bus. I don't remember exactly, I, I, like I said. But... He's like, are you sure you're not on anything? I'm like, I'm on Seroquel. Which, you know, I was just put on after years of not being on it. So, yeah, if I seem kind of zombified, that's exactly the fuck why. And I did kind of get snappy with him. And the other cop was like, okay, okay, you're fine. You know, and basically it was like, oh, let's just go. <laughs> Like, it's fucking Seroquel. And I, oh, yeah, I'm like, I don't carry the bottle with me wherever I go. I, I take it for sleep. Like, no. Why the fuck would I have the bottle on me? My prescription. I don't carry my fucking RX information everywhere I go. Like, do you? Like, <laughs> it's not something the majority of people do. And yeah, I understand that there are some people who do because they have, like, PRN medication. Um, I probably should be carrying my clonidine, to be honest. But, uh, years of masking kind of led me to just, like appear normal-ish in public. Um, working customer service jobs always pretty much. Uh, you know, kind of contributed to that. I have a hangnail. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, I, I kind of have to put on a front a lot and ha, I almost lost it. No joke. But yeah, I almost have to put on a front. Always. So like... It doesn't really hit until I get home. Where like... I feel like I can't breathe anymore. <laughs> so yeah. Like, uh... I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh... Yeah. There's a reason that I still have the video on my TV. Because I look around a lot when I talk. On my podcast um so i look at it and i can see like yes i'm still talking about that video um it's still there i see it so it's still in my line of sight um <laughs> Ugh, yawn um hey <laughs> I, I don't remember the whole video i literally started this recording as the video was ending i like as soon as it ended I hit record. Um, <laughs> whoops. 
shit. Yeah, it's almost six in the morning. <laughs> of course, my internet's gonna go. Uh, yeah. So, oh, I streamed today for almost four and a half hours. Pretty proud of myself. Not gonna lie. Um, Twitch.tv slash Isaac Sikire. Eh. I can self promo. It's my podcast. Anyway, uh, yeah, I streamed for like four and a half hours and nobody really joined. So, I, uh, whatever. Like, <laughs> again, I'm proud of myself. Like, it cut out after two hours and, I, like, because my internet's shite. I have two options at that point. Either I can call it a loss, you know, take the L on that one and just not try again. Or I can just try again. And I did try again and went for two and a half hours on top of that first two. Well, two hours, six minutes. So yeah, like four hours and almost 40 minutes total. I'm pretty proud of myself. And I am hoping maybe I can do the same on Wednesday. I uh, I did a lot this stream. Like, in the game, I'm playing Persona 5 The Royal, or Persona 5 Royal, my bad. And I, 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 I stutter. Um, yeah, next stream, I'm gonna take on Okumura. Yeah, I gotta send the calling card. That's where I'm at. I went through the whole palace during my stream. I uh, dicked around for like the first half hour, hour or whatever, and then spent the next like three, three and a half hours or whatever uh, doing the palace. So yeah. I, uh, oh, I also grinded a little bit in Memento, so I went from level 44 up to level 50, for Joker anyway. Um, some of my other characters are a little behind, right around 50. Or use case 50. He, he's the head of Joker. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, but yeah, like, I did a lot in my stream and I'm so proud of it. Yay. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's like 5.56 in the morning. I thought about continuing my stream, but I don't trust my internet during the day. Oh, construction update. They are laying down sidewalk. How fucking amazing is that? We're almost done, it seems. It is July 13th today. My mail is still a hit or miss, and I don't fucking get that. Because they... Oops. Don't don't hit the microphone when you're recording. Don't, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't hit the microphone. Uh, waiting for my brain to come back. Um, yeah. I don't know what I'll say. Sidewalks. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm curious if they're going to actually replace my walkway. Because that's... That's gone. Uh, mine is more so gone than my immediate neighbor. Who also has a lot of their walkway gone. Um, I doubt they're going to do it, honestly. Uh, they were supposed to move the mailboxes two months ago, so that never happened. So we all had, like, shit for mail. And it really doesn't help that they're closing, like, the main street. And the mailman doesn't walk. Like, excuse the fuck me, I'm used to living in Hermantown. Uh, some mailboxes are on the street. While others are kind of a walk. So the fact that the mailman will not 
step like 20 feet away from his truck is kind of concerning. Like, you can lock it. I, I, I don't understand. Like, and even in this city, I have seen mail carriers grab like two blocks worth of fucking mail and just start walking but no not this one he won't in fact i miss that mail carrier she was cool like when i got my ps4 um she didn't realize that the door to my apartment was in the back um where i was living at the time and so I called the post office and I'm like, hey, uh, I, it says that it was an attempted delivery, but I didn't get anything. Like, I didn't know anyone was here. She's, uh, the woman at the post office called the postal carrier. She came right back, was there in like 15 minutes or some shit, like crazy fast. And she's like, here, I signed it. You know, I signed for you. I really hope that's okay. I'm like, no, that's cool, man. I just wanted my PS4. She's like, oh, that's what it is. I'm like, yeah. So I was really psyched about it. And she's like, oh yeah, I understand. Like, we just bullshitted for a little bit in the back porch. I did that a lot with people. <laughs> but then COVID happened. And I no longer bullshit with mail carriers or, and or, or uh, like, delivery drivers. Then again, we have since got DoorDash. Which has been a hit or miss in itself. Um, lately, yeah, um, we've had some pretty reliable dashers. Um, there's like two, no, three, there's three that almost always are there. So like the amount of times where, and I say I live in Eveleth now, but I don't live in Eveleth. Um, I live in a different city, but like the amount of times that I will order something and they will come from Eveleth, like, pick up the order and bring it here. And it's like, that is amazing. <laughs> Plus some of them, like, there's a couple district, like, food districts in the area and they will, like, camp out there. <laughs> so it's like, once you place the order, you already have a dasher. It, they're, some of them, like I said, some of them are pretty cool like that. So, especially if it's like a nice-ish day, like not too hot, not too cold, like 60, 70 something degrees, then yeah, they are on that shit. <laughs> um, I don't know if I mentioned Bertha. I think I did an update on Bertha already. Because Saturday, I tried my car stream, did not go well. Um, deleted the eight minute video. <laughs> um, plus only subs can see my past streams. And I think all my subs left me. So yeah, fun times. <laughs> I don't blame any of them though. Like, I kind of went on the hiatus and I didn't really tell anyone because I didn't know how to explain it. To even myself. <laughs> Still don't. Please don't ask. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. Go, go watch. Go watch. Rick wants to know. Which, by the way, now that that title is in my head have the Alanis Morissette song stuck in my head because I watched a music video or not a music video I watched a reaction video to Gabby Hanna's trash cover sorry not sorry the song is trash not surprising because she is trash uh yeah and by all means if, if Gabby Hanna wants to throw hands I'll fucking throw hands let's go Like, I think she's a horrible, horrible excuse of a human being. I 
And I have pretty shit self-esteem myself, so for me to say that about somebody, mmm. You done fucked up somewhere. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, I have lost track so many times already, or just gone off the rails. You know, if 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 somebody made a roadmap to my podcast episodes, I would pay you, like a roadmap of the topics and where they go. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> I would pay you. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it is 6.04 now. I'm gonna call it here. I'm not streaming. Why did I say it like that? I'm gonna end now because I just keep rambling. And fun fact, um, the babes is still awake. She hasn't slept at all. Um, she's been very vocal and active. Uh, there was a point. <laughs> okay, so there's a computer in her room that's just like perpetually playing Sunny Bunnies. Um, yeah, there was a point that my son, who was eight, decided to sit next to the crib because his fire tab died. He's really into Minecraft right now, but his fire tab died, so... <laughs> he had to figure out something to, you know, give his attention to, and it was a baby show, and... <laughs> I go in there, and he's just talking about it. Oh, my buddy, I know. <laughs> Why are you watching it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was great. I couldn't stop laughing. Now I'm laughing again. and It makes my night. It really does. <laughs> like, Why? Oh, oh boy. <sighs> but a big reason I think it's funny is because, like, I did that shit with my younger brothers. So, like, <laughs> if it's on, I watched it. Um, bright, colorful things got my attention, and they're just kind of relaxing, which is why I still watch anime. 29. Do I expect myself to stop watching anime anytime soon? Never. Never. That said, I have like 20 different series I'm still watching. <laughs> but yeah, like, I mean, honestly, I'll admit, like, okay, I would put on PBS Kids because stop hitting the mic. Don't Don't do it. Okay. Anyway. At least it wasn't with my vape that time. It was just my hand. It was my fingertip. Anyway. <laughs> I would put on PBS Kids. Um, and do homework. In high school. Because bright colorful. I don't, I don't know really how to explain it. I really, I really don't, man. Um, so, yeah, um, imagine my fucking surprise when out of nowhere, the fuck is that clicking noise?
Okay, I think the mic just picked up my air conditioner. There was a clicking noise outside. It's six in the morning. They're not supposed to be starting until seven, so I don't fucking get it. Anyway. Yeah. Um, oh, shit. I should probably move Bertha away from that shit. I don't want her there at all. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine my fucking surprise, man. When out of nowhere, like I was out of the room and suddenly I hear the like intro riff, the fuck ever you want to call it, to Blink 182's Damn It. I dropped what I was fucking doing. I think I was in the kitchen to get something, like, to snack on. I dropped everything that I was doing. Like, nothing was more important than figuring out why this TV that I knew that was on PBS 8 is playing a song called Damn It. I rushed in the room. It's a motherfucking Arthur commercial. I just realized I've been holding the mic sideways this whole time, and I have no idea why or how that happened. Anyway, fucking Arthur commercial on PBS Kids had the song Damn It by Blink-182. For the fucking life of me, I've been trying for over 10 years to find this, like, this commercial. Like, should I go on, like, Lost Media Reddit or something? Like, help me find this fucking commercial. Because I am not making this up. This shit existed. Like, I get it. Like, the chorus is, well, I guess this is growing up. But the song title is Damn It. As in, damn it, PBS kids, why did you play the song, damn it? (laughs) I'm not joking, like, this was real. Again, I really wish I could find it. If you know where it is, send me a fucking link. Just a random toss up at gmail.com, all one word. Just a random toss up toss up at gmail.com I want this fucking blink I'm not joking I want this commercial I I the, cause like okay Grim refuses to believe that ever happened and I'm like okay well in high school you weren't doing homework you weren't even in school. So. Excuse me for staying home and trying to do homework. And yes, yeah, so it would take me like a week or two to finish my homework. So when my teacher was like, oh, did you do your homework? And I'm like, no. Well, why not? I didn't feel like it. So when she told me to go out in the stairway and cry. Like, oh yeah, I fucking snapped on that bitch. Fuck you. I'm surprised she was allowed to even be in the middle school. I actually don't know if she was actually teaching in the middle school. I knew she was still like the high school volleyball coach or whatever. And I just kind of doxed her slightly. Because y'all know my age, my hometown, and... (laughs) Anyway. To be fair, I went to... Five different high schools. So, yeah. Have fun finding that out. Not that it's really hard. Yeah, freshman year. That should happen. Come back 10th grade and it's like, oh. 
Well, that bitch is gone. And fun fact, I didn't figure it out until like almost a decade later. <laughs> like, bitch was punished. And I don't know why it took me 10 years to figure it out. Probably because I had a lot of other shit going on personally. So, like, I didn't really care. I didn't care to find out either because I just. I didn't give a shit. Fuck her. <laughs> oh, uh, also, I added stickers to my Discord server. Hooray! Uh, you can find my server, um, just go to, you know, mshaw.ke slash ism, ism, and, uh, yeah, you can find my Discord invite there, and you can find a lot there. You can find my Discord, you can find my Twitch, you can find all the platforms that my podcast is available on. Uh, what else is there? Mm. I have uh, I have resources that I recommend and or mention. Um, just things to help you. I also have a list of recommended apps that I personally use and suggest to others. Yeah. I don't know. <gasps> I think I forgot to add level up life. Um, if you have level up life, add me. Sukire. I would love to have new friends on there. Um, it is available only for Android, unfortunately. But the nice thing about it is it's a website. So you can add it to your homepage and basically have the app without having the app. Which... Quite honestly, I love. Because it basically is just putting a bookmark on your homepage instead of downloading an app entirely. Like, Twitter is unreasonably sized. Like, it, there's no reason for it. I deleted Amazon and Twitter. Both apps are just way too much storage. It's unnecessary. So, like, I would just rather have them on my homepage as, as a Safari. Uh, yeah, Safari bookmark. So, yeah. Just shit like that. Makes my life a little easier. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I said I was gonna end like 10 minutes ago. I don't fucking know anymore. Okay, bye. I hope you're having a fantastic morning, day, afternoon, evening, night, ever when you're listening to this. Have a good day.